That with the shooting on the Maersk Alexander, which is literally an exact sister ship of the Alabama. Well, this was fascinating because everything was real. You know, there's a lot of places to conk your head and uh, the decks hurt your feet after a while because it's just hard metal plates. Um, uh, but it also, it smells a certain way and it sounds a certain way and, pit, and you think it's a big ship and you're not gonna feel it moving. That thing moves around quite a bit and it's constantly vibrating and whatnot. So it became a, you know, a lot, a lot of times you walk into a set on a soundstage and you're astounded at how real it is. But at the end of the day, you're, you walk off it and you're on a soundstage and it's a very, you know, the, the artificiality is something, it's a line that you cross over from the regular world into the artificial world. And on board a ship, there was just, there was no artificiality to it. And shooting, being, uh, being willing to shoot in all those in kind of places between the way Paul wants to shoot and also what uh, Barry Aykroyd is, is used to shooting, it was, it was, it, it removed an entire task from us, from us the actors, I think, um, that sped us along in order to get to a, com a, a completely different, uh, completely different place. Yeah, we did not meet all the guys uh, until they stormed the bridge on the first take. Uh, we knew they were out there, we knew that they were shooting other stuff, but we didn't, you know, we didn't have dinner, we didn't have like an informal, hey, we're in Malta, let's get together and celebrate the, uh, the start of uh, principal photography. As a matter of fact, there were, there were stunt guys, there was a uh, second unit, there was second team, there were stand-ins, and we didn't know who the real guys were, and, like, and we, were, we were always kept separate uh, from them, and so, uh, you know, the first time I sort of saw them was literally looking through binoculars, and they're out there in, the, in, the, in those speedboats, you know, running around getting shots. So we did not meet until the first time they, they came on board and stormed the bridge. And it was hairy. That's sort of like the environmental atmosphere that, that Paul created, and it was worth its weight in gold.